I break God's laws, guess what? I'm bringing restrictions and limitations on my life. If I speak negative, I'm bringing limitations on my life. If I think negative in my mind, I'm bringing restrictions and limitations on my life. If I begin to act with my body and give all certain, I begin to frown. I may not say nothing, but I frown at somebody who's saying something. Somebody look, I look at somebody and I turn my head as if I ain't studying you. I'm giving off restrictions and limitations on my body. That's why you got to look at yourself. See, the devil will have us looking at other people and you missing the evil in yourself. We got to understand when we're talking about the battle of the natures between good and evil, you got to understand it's not evil according to the world. Evil in the world means you got to harm somebody. You got to try to destroy somebody. You got to murder somebody. Things are horrible. That's not evil to God. The things that are evil to God is when you don't do what his words say do, that's considered an evil nature. Our biggest problem is we've been bringing the bad stuff into the world and we think, well, I can cuss you out. That don't mean I'm evil. I cannot forgive you. That don't mean I'm evil. I can sit up there and think an ugly thought in my mind. That don't mean I'm evil. But to God it does. This is why you got to understand the church, the kingdom of God is not the same thing how it is in the world. Why do we come to church? We should come to church because God want to show us our evil nature. Can I tell you that we become evil by our upbringing? We come evil by how we was raised. We come evil by what we saw our parents our whoever raised us, we become evil by looking at them. That's why you can take a little child and you can teach a child how to be racist because they see what you do. Yeah. They see a certain color of people and they begin to frown up because they see their parents frown up. So we got to understand our children begin to act how they see us act. We got to understand the enemy to the evil nature is, do you know like a tape recorder? If you put a tape recorder, what it does, it records, right? Write this down. My subconscious mind, it recorded everything so that when I hit the earth, so when you was a day old, your mind started recording. So a little bitty baby that don't know what's going on, that baby mind is already recording things. You know why? Watch little babies. If they hear a loud sound, what they do? They turn their head and they look. Their little brains, their subconscious brains are recording everything that they see, everything that they hear, and everything that they do. Why is that important? Because your subconscious mind is going to be the one that's going to influence your behavior. In other words, that part of your mind is going to be the one that's going to try to show you what you're supposed to do. So if a baby hear loud noise, what do them baby do? Cry. So then if you're a grown up and you hear loud noise, what do you do? We cry. Because that's something that we learn from little kids. So if I was a little baby, if my mama, did, and if I was a little girl, and if I didn't have my way, I get up and I start jumping and I start hollering. If nobody never tell me I gotta stop doing that, I can be forty years old, and if I can't have my way, guess what I'ma do? I'ma have a temper tantrum and I'ma holler and I'ma scream because I can't have my way. That's the evil nature. You got to understand who taught you how to love. Who taught you how to treat people? I want you to start thinking in your mind. Who taught you how to treat people right? Because see, a lot of times we didn't see people treat people right. We saw somebody, if somebody did something to them, get what they do. They do the same thing back to them. 
So we 